Hi guys and welcome back to Sammy's Place. Today I'm taking you in my bathroom and I'm going to be showing you probably the only video you'll ever need to watch on how to put in and how to remove and clean and store contact lenses. Make sure you subscribe and click the bell button. I'm Sammy and on this channel I do a lot of tutorials how to do kind of creative kind of things and stuff like that. I also have other channels if you're interested in seeing more. I'm gonna leave links in the description below. All right guys, so because this will be a tutorial, I'm gonna show you how to do this. You wanna make sure you, um, you take off any jewelry or any rings or anything so that you can wash your hands effectively. And that's gonna be step one, is to wash your hands. So before you open them, I'm gonna just discuss first. So my right eye is a negative 350 and my left eye is also a 350. When I got my contacts for the first time, my left eye was actually a 325, and then it got worse and went up to a 350, so now both of my eyes are bad at negative 350. However, it is a blessing when I go to purchase them because some contact lenses, um, you'll get certain strengths um, it, for the right eye and then for the left eye, and then you have to buy two separate boxes each time. So for me, luckily, since I have the 350 on both eyes, I just buy one box and then just split it up 15 to 15. Well, I probably lose a couple. So I have my contacts here. And I'm, I do know from experience, people do have um, hard contacts. I guess that's what they call hard contacts. And I don't have any experience with them. I like have experiences with the soft contact lenses. So if you do have hard contacts and you have any questions about how to insert those and take care of those, either um, I would get in touch with your eye doctor or just look for another video. For this video is only gonna talk about the soft lenses. So if you're ready to begin, let's begin. You're gonna come with, across a case like this. This is the storing case. So if you take your contacts out at night, or if you have daily wear and you dispose of them at night, then you probably don't have a case, which is um, the cases come and they have one cap for the left eye is a white color or like a blue. And then they have the different color, which is like a green or like a pink, they have all different colors. So this is to tell when you take your eyes out. So say if my eye was a 325 again, I would take it out and I would put it on this side. Then this one as the 350 I put on this side. But because my eyes are the same, I no longer need to have the cap with the two different colors. It doesn't mean anything because they're both 350s. But if you're to take your contacts out at night, you make sure that this case is super clean and you're gonna put your um, solution in. And I use the Renew, R-E-N-U. And I'm almost out of it. But you would store your and then you would take your contacts out put them into the case, put it on your sink or whatever have you. In the morning, you would come and you would do the rub option, which I'm gonna show you. But for the sake of this video, I left my contacts in so that I'm gonna be able to remove them. I'm gonna insert new ones without rub, and then I'm gonna show you how to, to clean them and rub them. First, you wanna make sure you start with a hand soap. You can use a liquid hand soap, or you can use bar soap. But whatever soap you do use, you want to make sure that you get all of the soap residue off of the hand. So I'm going to get a really lathery soapy here. I'm going to also clean in between my fingers and in the back of the nails. And just wash your hands completely. And then you can dry them with a towel. Also turn the faucet off with your towel so you don't get any new germs. Once that your hands are completely clean, you're able to remove or insert them. So since I have some in for this video, I'm gonna show you first how I'm going to take them out. I do hate to be a cringy person, meaning like I'm sitting here in front of you and I'm gonna go really close into my eyes and I'm going to pull out from my eyes. So some people do get a little cringy. So if you do have any anxiety, anxiety from contacts, if that's why you clicked on this video because you're scared or you're fearing, first things first is you're gonna have to calm down because once you've got this done, 
I could sit here all day in and out, in and out, in and out. But I know the anxiety. I know the scariness of even going close to a mirror or a camera and being like this when you're going to have to touch your eye and you're scared it's going to, it's going to get lost. But I do have some tips for anxiety for you because I went through the same thing. Number one is you're making it scary for yourself. If you just calm down and say there's nothing to this. Um, that really helps. You can also work on breathing. For the first couple of times, it is a little nerve-wracking. When I first had um, contacts for the first time, I was 12 years old, and I was really scared, scared, scared to get contacts. Like, I was really scared. But my mom always wore contacts, so when I would see her do it, she would just, like, pop and be, go to work. And I'm sitting there in gym with these glasses on, scared to put a contact in, and I just said, you know what? I'm going to completely not have any more fear and I'm just going to do this and then when I got to the eye doctor it was a little different I walked in that door and it's like all the nervousness came back so my eye doctor kind of like sat with me kind of like a class like a eye contact class it didn't help with the anxiety of the fear of doing it but once he was showing me how he can do it in and out and then he even did it for me because every time I got to like about right here I just kept my eye would automatically shut. It was like blinking, blink, blink. And if you do blink after you insert it, what's going to happen is when you blink right away, the contact will come out. So you, when you lay the contact on, it lays on the pupil, but it's not actually completely on the pupil yet. You have to kind of like put it in and then let it set, kind of. It's hard to explain, but I'll show you in a minute how we do it here. So what happens if you go and you put it in, the contact's in, but then you blink, boom, it just comes right back out. So then you're going to be more stressed and aggravated, and then you might even start feeling pain. They say contacts don't hurt. The first time you put it in is like when you first touch your eye, like if you've never touched your eye before or never poked your eye. It's like that feeling like a quick, like, psh, but it's not like pain, not like giving birth or anything like that. So if you have any anxiety for that, you want to just work on breathing techniques and kind of watch this video and see how I do it. And then you'll just be fine after that. And I believe that this video will help you out. Um, so let's get to it. All right, so I have my case filled up with my Renew. All I did was just pop over my top, squeeze my Renew into both things. And now I'm going to take my contacts out and this is if I'm going to store them. So if it's nighttime and I'm getting ready to go to bed, this is what I'm going to do. And remember, guys, I'm going to be looking into the camera as if you're my mirror. So if you have if you're doing this along with me, I recommend that you watch first. And then after I'm done, then pause it and then try. OK, so I have my contact ready. I'm going to take these out. These contacts are coming out for the night. I'm going to go to sleep and this is what I'm going to do do first is you're going to look straight on so if you go like this and you're looking to the side or you're looking this way it's not really going to be as easy as if you're looking straight on and that's the scary part is when people do look straight on then they that's when they start blinking so all you do is look straight on like this and you're going to use one finger so you're going to figure out which finger and whatever finger it is is going to be a light finger so if your pinky is light then use your pinky if you're Four fingers strong, then try your middle finger if that's light. Whatever finger's lighter, like you don't want to be forceful. You want to be kind of sweeping it. So you're going to take the two fingers of the finger you're not using. So me, I always use my pointy finger. I don't know why it's easier. I used to actually use the middle finger, but now I use my pointy finger. So I'm going to pull down the skin under my eyes. I'm going to look indirectly into you into the camera and all I'm going to do is take my pointy finger keep my eye open and I'm just going to slowly sweep it and you see it guys it fell right out in the case we're going to cap it if you're a different prescription it doesn't matter if you're not secondly you come up and now you're going to do the left eye so I wash my hands and so now same thing some people do use the same hand for each contact, and you can do that, but I, I don't know why I switch it. So I'm going to pull down here. I'm going to look straight on. I'm going to lay my finger on the pupil. And I'm going to just sweep. 
the contact out. And you see it's on my finger. When I sweep it, when I touch the pupil like that, there's no pain because I'm not, I'm not going touching my eye. I'm laying my finger gently on my eyeball and I'm kind of scooping it to the corner over here. When it gets to this corner over here, it will start to drop out. The eyes itself is just what you see when you open your eyes down here and up here. Sorry guys, I know this is like, like an eye exam. You can't get lost. Some people get scared. They're like, oh, sometimes contact goes up here. That has happened to me once. I had really, really, really dry eyes. So I was kind of, I think I was itching my eye from the outside like this. And then when I opened my eye, my contact just like raised up here, but it was up in the lid. There's no opening after up here. So you'll be fine. But if it does go up here, what you want to do is you want to get like re-wetting drops and you want to just put the re-wetting drops in your eye, hold it for about five seconds. And while your eyes close like this, you're going to gently rub, 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 and it will come down. But do not scratch like this and do not go side to side with the contact. Doing those kind of things can scratch your eyeball and it will cause a corneal abrasion, which is a very serious eye pain, which I've had before in the past. And you do not want to get a corneal abrasion. So when you go to take the contact out, remember, pull down and slowly scoop it to the left. When sometimes when you, I used to scoop it to the inner corner and it can get, when it comes to the inner corner, it can get like, kind of like sticky. I don't know. It's hard to explain. If for instance, it gets up here and it's like, it's like kind of hurts a little, keep the eye closed and just slowly rotating and kind of shifting the eyeball skin on top very gently. And then the, the contact will fall. All right, guys. So I rewashed my hands and now I have the contact and this is a soft lens. And again, it's for my right or left eye. It doesn't matter for me, but make sure that you're putting the correct um, prescription in the, in the eye. Some will say like BC 8.6, 14, two, that's the diameter size of your pupil. And when you get, go to get your eye test, your doctor will pick that for you. And then your strength. So if you put the wrong strength in the wrong eye, you can get a headache and stuff like that. It could be even blurry or could not even work. So you want to make sure if your right eye is 350, this goes in your right eye. And if your left eye is 350, this goes in your left eye. So what we do is we got to open the foil packet and you want to open it gently because there could be time when you pull it back fast and the contact may fall out and then you can't see anything to find it. I've been there. So what you're going to do is pull it back slowly like that. It comes with a little tab. And you pull it back like that. And you will see the contact is in there. And it's sitting in a solution, kind of like the Renew. So the solution that they use or the companies do is similar, very similar to this. So when I get new contact, I never rub them. Some people can just take it right out here and just pop them on and go. And that's exactly what I do. But some people like to rub. So if you're going to get brand new contact from the beginning, you all you have to do is scoop the contact out. And I have it there on the finger. So when I pull it out like this, I know that when I lay it on this fan, it's the right way. Because I took it out of there. Say if you take it out and it bends, how will you know if it's the right way? You're not going to be able to see in the camera. But there's little numbers or letters, usually the company name or the prescription name. Like if you have Bush and Lam, they have like a B or something like that. And you want to make sure that that's the right way. If there's no numbers, you can also tell by how the contact sits. So as you see, it's sitting on my finger like this in a position ready to be inserted. Kind of looks like a pupil itself. If I had it backwards, then I'll show you. It doesn't sit like a boat. See how that side is like down? It doesn't sit like a boat. It sticks and so what you do is you turn it around and when you lay it on your finger, when it's the right way, it will be like a boat like that. So all I do for myself is when I take it out of the new packet, 
I just hold it in my finger and I put a few drops of the solution on it and I just like kind of like let it get in there and let it soak in there. And the reason I do this is so I'm not putting it on dry and I'm putting it on moisturized. So because I can put this in any eye, I'm gonna start with the, I'll start with the left eye. And I'm gonna come up close so you guys can see. And remember, if you're doing this with me, I would wait until after, I would wait until after I've done it so you can see how I'm doing it. Okay. Okay, yeah, so for, I don't know if you guys can see that at all. Inside there, there's an H, a U, and a B. Oh, you can't see it. Hub. So I know the, the company that I would use my contact is called Hubble. And I've been getting my deliveries from Hubble. And these contacts come from them. So they have an H-U-B. So if I know I'm looking at B-U-N, bun, then I'm the other way. So once it's like that, I'm going to just go like this. I'm going to take the same fingers down that I used. So I'm going to pull it down. Now, if you get to like right here and you start blinking, you may have to hold like that. And you're going to look straight in. But me, with more experience, you'll just be able to just go like this and pull it down. So all you do is look right into the mirror. And you're going to lay it on the pupil. See how it's there? It's kind of loose. And now that's completely on, I can blink, blink, blink. And it's not even moving. It's not even falling out. So, I'll show you again with the right eye. And that's it. So that's it. That's all you have to do. And there was no burning. When it laid on my eyes, it didn't burn. I didn't have any irritation. I don't have any irritation now. I just have a lot of um, solution. So now say for instance, I'm going to remove the contacts one more time to show you the removal again. But say for instance, I woke up in the morning and I don't have the throwaways. Like last night I didn't throw away and I'm not putting new ones on. Last night I stored them in the case. How am I going to re-put them on now? I'm going to show you that right now. Lay your finger on the pupil like that, and you're going to take the contact and swipe it out. Now it keeps going back on, so you're going to swipe it out a little stronger. There we go. It came out. So now I'm just going to throw this away because I'm going to sleep for the night. I'm not going to wear contacts for bed. I'm going to take them out. Mount. So all you do is you pick them up from the case. They were sitting in the solution already. But if you reuse the solution, which I don't recommend, every day this should be dumbed out, a new solution should be added. But some people that wear contacts for so long, they use the same solution. So what you're gonna do is take it out of that solution, but before you put it in your eye, you're gonna do a rub. So what you do is you hold the contact in your hand you drop, put a few drops of the Renew or any kind, they have Opti-Free and you want it like that so it's wet. You fold the contact in half and you slowly do circles in your palm. Now you don't want to do rough circles because the contact could rip. And then you want to pick it up on the finger you're going to use to insert it. Make sure you have your bolt. Hold your eye down. Lay it on. Wait a second. Look around. Blink. Same thing with the other eye.
And what you want to do too is that, see how I just put it in and I, I completely forgot which eye I was in. I would just open the eye and see the other eye. You'll know which one you don't have your contact in. That's it. Now I want to show you before I end this video, what happens if I blink? So I'm going to open the eye like this, take the contact out, got it. Now I'm going to use my rub. Now say this is if I blink too fast. I'm going to open the eye, put it in. And I blinked, it fell right out instantly. Let me try that again, because that was very quick. Try to blink a little slower. So you go like that, you put it in, and then blink. See? And it just falls right out. So you want to make sure when you do it, got your rub, you revving it, revving it slow, gentle, gentle. Lift it onto the finger you're going to use. Look straight on. Pull down your eye lid, lay the contact in, and wait. I would say like count to three. Just keep it wide open. Once it go, once it like, it'll pop onto the eye. You'll feel it like, kind of like click on the eye. It's like weird how to explain. It doesn't hurt, but it just like it. It feels like it's loose, and then it goes like tight onto the pupil. That's when you know you're ready to blink. And that's it, guys. So I hope you enjoyed this video. If you have any questions, uh, make sure you leave in the comments below. Leave me an emoji or something so I know you're here. And if this video helped you out, give me a big thumbs up. And if you have any, 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 any recommendations or requests for me that you want me to do a video on, also leave that in the comments below. I'm here to help you guys. And again, thank you for watching. Till next time. Bye.